In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Welcome to St. Aidan's Church, Lower Kersal, part of the Salford All Saints team in the Diocese of Manchester. We're going to take you through the service of Stations of the Cross. We hope that this will help you in your Lent observances and also in your preparation for Easter. Jesus told his disciples, if any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race, sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The chief priests and the elders, however, have persuaded the crowd to demand the release of Barabbas and the execution of Jesus. So when the governor spoke and asked them, which of the two do you want me to release for you, they said, Barabbas. But in that case, Pilate said to them, What am I to do to, the, to do with Jesus, who is called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. Why, he asked, What harm has he done? But they shouted all the louder, Let him be crucified. Then Pilate saw that he was making no impression, that in fact a riot was imminent. So he took some water, washed his hands in front of the crowd and said, I am innocent of this man's blood. It is your concern. And the people to a man shouted back, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he released Barabbas for them. He ordered Jesus to be first scourged and then handed him over to be crucified. Lord, for the times I have washed my hands of my responsibilities, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I fail to have the courage to do what I know is right, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, for the times I blame others for my actions, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Heal my memories of those occasions when I have been wrongly accused and help me to forgive those who have judged me unjustly. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The governor's soldiers took Jesus with them into the Praetorium and collected the whole cohort around him. There they stripped him and made him wear a scarlet cloak. And having twisted some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head and placed a reed in his right hand. To make fun of him, they knelt to him and saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spat on him, and took the reed, and struck him on the head with it. And when they had finished making fun of him, they took off the cloak, 
and dressed him in his own clothes and led him away to crucify him. Lord, for the times I am disgruntled and complain about my lot, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I mock and ridicule others, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times I punish others, loading them with burdens, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Heal me, Lord, of the injuries I have felt from the words and actions of others. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was essential that he should in this way become completely like his brothers, so that he could be a compassionate and trustworthy high priest of God's religion, able to atone for human sins. That is, because he has himself been through temptation, he is able to help others who are tempted. Lord, for the times I have caused others to fall, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I fail to show compassion, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times I am no support to my brothers and sisters, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Heal me, Lord, of the hurt my pride has suffered. Help me not to be too proud to ask forgiveness of those I have hurt. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favour. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Lord, for the times I have not accepted your word, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I have allowed the troubles and trials of the day to get the better of me, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times I have been too full of my own importance, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, heal me of all fear. Give me the wisdom to know your will and the strength to carry it out. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. On their way out, they came across a man from Cyrene, Simon by name, and enlisted him to carry his cross. Lord, for the times I fail to help carry other people's burdens, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I fail to share whatever you have given me, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. For the times I do not welcome strangers, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, heal my lack of openness to others. Help me to make the first move to welcome others. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you made me welcome. Naked, and you clothed me. Sick, and you visited me. In prison, and you came to see me. Then the virtuous will say to him in reply, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and make you welcome, naked and clothe you, or sick and, or in prison and go to see you? And the king will answer, I tell you solemnly, in so far as you did this to one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did it to me. Lord, for the times I failed to see you in my neighbour, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I failed to show hospitality, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times I failed to see the needs of others, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Heal me, Lord, of the prejudices that prevent me from reaching out to others. The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Yet he was pierced through for our faults, crushed for our sins. On him lies a punishment that brings us peace, and through his wounds we are healed. We had all gone astray like sheep, each taking his own way. And the Lord has laid on, laid on him the sins of all of us. For the times I have wounded others, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I have preferred to go my own way, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times I have exaggerated the faults of others, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Heal me, Lord, of all resentments. Help me to bring your peace and healing to those I have wounded. The eighth station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Large numbers of people followed him, and of women too, who mourned and lamented for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep rather for yourselves and for your children. Lord, for the times I fail to comfort those in need, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I am lacking in generosity, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times I do not listen to people, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, fill with your healing love each moment of my life where there has been a lack of love. Fill me with your love, so that I may share it with others. The ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. He had not done anything wrong, and there had been no perjury in his mouth. He was insulted and did not retaliate with insults. When he was tortured, he made no threats, but he put his trust in the righteous judge. 
He was bearing our faults in his own body on the cross so that we might die to our faults and live for holiness. Through his wounds you have been healed. You had gone astray like sheep, but now you have come back to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Lord, for the times I have accused others falsely, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I have been untruthful, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times I have retaliated unjustly, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Heal me, Lord, of all insults that have crippled me. Help me, Lord, to be gentle with others. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. <clears throat> they took his clothing and divided it, into, it, divided it into four shares, one for each soldier. His undergarment was seamless, woven in one piece from neck to hem. So they said to one another, instead of tearing it, Let's throw dice to decide who is to have it. In this way, the words of Scripture were fulfilled. They shared out my clothing among them. They cast lots for my clothes. Lord, for my immodest thoughts and actions, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the sharpness of my tongue, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Have mercy. For my impatience with others, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Heal me, Lord, of all that I am ashamed. Drive all evil far from me, Lord. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they reached the place called the Skull, they crucified him there, and the two criminals also, one on the right and the other on the left. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, they do not know what they are doing. For the times I fail to forgive others, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I crucify others with my words and my deeds, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times I turn my back on you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Heal me, Lord, of all my jealousy, of all that binds me. The Twelfth Station. Jesus speaks to his mother from the cross. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. Lord, for the times I do not welcome others into my life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I show disrespect to my mother and father, to my brothers and sisters, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times I devalue the life you give us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, 
heal my relationships with parents and family and friends and with all those with whom I share my life. The thirteenth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now about the sixth hour, and with the sun eclipsed, a darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour. The veil of the temple was torn right down the middle, and when Jesus had cried out in a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. With these words, he breathed his last. Lord, for the times I fail to give myself to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I fail to commit myself to others, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times I fail to allow others to be themselves, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Heal me, Lord, with the power of your Spirit. May you so live in me that I may be used, used to give new life to those around me. The 14th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. After this, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, though a secret one because he was afraid of the Jews, asked Pilate to let him remove the body of Jesus. Pilate gave permission, so they came and took the body away. Lord, for the times I fail to turn to you for healing, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. For the times I fail to admit that I know you, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. For the times my silence and inaction have offended or misled others, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Heal me, Lord, of all humiliation. Make of me the person you want me to be. The 15th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They took the body of Jesus and wrapped it with the spices in linen cloths, following the Jewish burial custom. At the place where he had been crucified, there was a garden, and in this garden, a new tomb in which no one had yet been buried. Since it was the Jewish day of preparation, and the tomb was near at hand, they laid Jesus there. Lord, for the times I fail to trust in the power of your resurrection, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times I fail to respect the thoughts and customs of others, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times I disturbed the peace you came to bring, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Heal me, Lord, with the peace and joy of your love. Use me to bring your healing to my brothers and sisters. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy, thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Christ crucified draw you to himself, to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope, and the assurance of sins forgiven. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you, and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for sharing this part of your journey with us. May God bless you as you continue on your journey through Lent. And may we all come to know the power of the risen Christ at Easter. Have a very good day.